Hey guys, so today we're going to be using Vida Excel's eBay store to find products. This is really easy, it's a nice simple method, so let's dive in. So, here we are over on eBay. Now what we're going to do is go over to here to the advanced section. Let's wait for that for a minute. Now we're going to go to buy seller and type in Vida Excel's eBay store. Now this is Vida Excel dash UK. That is what you want to put in if you're trying to find their eBay store. So let's go ahead and click search. Now what we're going to do is going to go through their best selling products or find their best selling products. So straight away we want to go to buy it now because we don't want no auctions. And we're going to scroll down. Go here and we want items above £20. You can do lower, but I found that the profit margins are better on items above £20. So, now what we're going to do is going to go to completed or sold listings. I'm going to go to sold listings. Now, how many items do we have to go through? You can now see we have 1,715 items that we could potentially sell ourselves. I say potentially because we want to find the best selling ones, so we're probably not going to go through all all 1,715. But now we want to narrow this down even more. So as you can see, we have all the categories over here. Now what you can do is go through the categories to narrow down your search even more. So let's go to more. So what? Let's go to garden and patio. Summer's just round the corner. It's a nice day here in the UK. So let's have a look. See, now we're down to 509 results. A little bit more manageable to have a little look through and find the best selling items. So let's have a little look. Did you see how easy that is? Within two and a half minutes, we've found a bunch of products that we can go through and potentially list ourselves to make profit on our eBay stores. It doesn't take long. This is why I like this method. It's kind of snoptimizing retailers' eBay stores. Now, with Vida XL, their titles are a little bit better than Argos, but there's even more room for improvement, and that's where we come along. Take the product, optimize the title, and make sales. Now to understand optimization, if you haven't already, I suggest going through and watching the video up here, just to, so you can get a better understanding of how optimization, title optimization actually works. So let's scroll down. So let's have a little look. £20.99, that's a fire hose nozzle. Let's take a little look. Fire hose nozzle. Wouldn't have thought I'd sell very many of them, but I might be wrong. Let's have a little look. Okay, 15 sold. Let's see when they've sold them. April, April, March, February. Okay, you could potentially sell this. I would put this item into a list and maybe going back, back and forth with it. Whether or not to sell it. I don't know. Probably not. Fire hose nozzle just doesn't seem like it would sell much. And it doesn't seem, it hasn't got a high enough perceived value for me to add 40% on that. So I'm going to close that. Let's try and find a different item. Let's take a look at this, £80.99. Let's see how many they've sold. Only two. I do like the look of that though. When did they sell them? April and March. Let's just keep going and see if we can find any items that are better selling than them. So let's scroll down. Plant pots. Right time of the year. So let's take a little look. Four sold. A few different variations on the colours. No. So this is the actual boring part that takes a while to find the best selling items unless you've got software, something like, uh, what's it called, DS Genie. Link down in the description if you want to go and check out DS Genie. 
No, let's try another one. 230 for that. See how many they've sold. Only one. So let's close that. Flat water delivery hose. Let's take a little look. 155 sold. So this looks like it is a good selling item. Let's just have a look. April, April. Yeah, this is a real good selling item. So I would potentially sell this myself. Don't think there's much. You could make the title better. Flat water delivery hose. Well, that's what it is. Discharge pipe pump. It's not a pump, but people putting in pump would come across this. So you probably could optimize the title better than this. Now what I would do, I would find this item on the Vida XL store. So let's go over to Vida XL. Now the way we do this, the the eBay title is going to be different to what it is on Vida XL. But if we scroll down to the description, you can see just here, this is the title that is over on Vida XL. So let's take that. and plug that in Vida Excel, see if the item pops up. I've also found that with Vida Excel they sell oh there's quite a lot of different ones. With their eBay store and their normal retailer store, their website, their prices changed quite a lot. So the price for this might be different to what it actually is on the store. This is what I found but just thought I'd let you know. So this is 25 meter, two inch. 25 meter, two inch. So this is it. So now that we've identified the item, now look, we found the item on their eBay store. They sell quite a lot of them. We've now found that item over on their actual store. And now what I would do, I would take this URL just here. And then I would put it into a spreadsheet and build out a list of items in that spreadsheet. Main reason being it makes it a hell of a lot quicker when you actually go to list items. So instead of finding this item, listing it, finding another item, listing it, just put all the URLs into a spreadsheet and then it just makes the whole process a hell of a lot quicker. Now, Vida XL is a good retailer to use. Only problem, their delivery takes some time. I think it ranges from four to six days. So, as you can see here, delivery time, six working days. But all their items are free shipping. Pardon me. I've got to stop doing that on the videos. But, um... Yeah, so their items do take a little bit longer to get delivered, which is annoying. I do like next day delivery, but the thing is with Vida XL, you've got so many unique items on here that can sell really well on eBay. So it's up to you whether you use them or not. Now, this method of actually finding the items through their eBay stores also works with Argos. It's what I like to do. Obviously, Vida XL and Domu. Now this work, this will work with any retailer that has an eBay store because all we do, we use their eBay store to our advantage, go through to their sold items and then try and find their best selling items, see if we can sell them ourselves with our 40% markup. Well that's what I mark everything up at, 40%, so that factors in my profit, eBay fees and PayPal fees. But that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. That being said, I've been Paddy. This has been Stacking Profit. And I'll see you again soon.